Hey you guys, my name is Alicia Lee Poitier and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry I'm looking a mess, I just finished my workout for the day and I was like, let me do this video before I get comfortable for the rest of my evening and here we go. So once you have right. everything ready to go as far as laid out, I went ahead and wiped this entire counter down really clean just because I know I'm going to be laying stuff out so things might fall on it. Definitely do that. I went ahead and washed the strainer, I washed this out, this is fresh, I washed the knife and I washed this, I rinsed this off. So you just want to have clean utensils and everything just because you will be moving a lot of different things on in this process. So let's get to washing the stock. When you are shopping for stock, um, they all are the same price. So definitely pick up the thicker ones that you can find. So this one, this one is a little lighter and this one's a little heavier. But I try to find the thickest thoughts because they're the same price and you get more bang for your buck when you do your juicing this way. Um, so this one looks like it has probably three more actual sticks. Water wash one. So of course we're going to take it out the bag. These stocks are about a week old, so yes, don't judge me, this is old. Um, but it's still going to have the fresh nutrition that it needs. Um, so, you know, just look through it just to see how it is. We aren't, we are not going to use these leaves. We'll still wash them, but we're not going to use these leaves and um but i'll show you how to cut that once we get in there so just kind of like look at it break it apart i start off with warm water and i like to i like to scrape it just kind of like i'm stripping some of it but i definitely they get really let me see if i can show you they're like they get they're really dirty honestly they're open bags too so, not, so i kind of just go and i scrape it with warm water that off, open it up a little bit, and then I push into the hole, and I'm finished scraping it. We're not done washing it yet, but take it out, bring it to your cutting board. So when you bring it to your cutting board, you want to chop this end piece off, okay? Grab your knife. And then you're gonna, this one is not as dirty, but sometimes in here there's like even more dirt. So just again, we're gonna go wash these off one more time. So um, go ahead and have your blender ready because as we cut these, we're gonna wanna put them in here, okay? Start from the bottom because the leaves start getting in there. We don't want these leaves, so we're gonna put them to the side or we can toss them out if your garbage can is close. Cutting, chop them as medium size, not too small, not too big. So now we're getting to here. I still use these and I like chop them here. Mm, chop that. Any more leaves? Like, like chunk. You want to leave enough where you know this has been out and exposed. And then this part right here is just like a fresh cut. So toss that to the side. Leave like a little. Just for me, it's just more precaution of eating, eating that. So then you chop these up. We are All right, so I totally forgot to mention that um, <laughs> you need a measuring cup, and you need a cup big enough. So if your strainer is smaller than this, get a cup that fits it perfectly when you sit it on top. So it doesn't get messy no matter how you slice it, but you definitely want to try to keep a cup big enough or small enough for your straining size. So when you do it, you're gonna place it on top. I'll show you guys more, but I totally forgot to get the measuring cup. And now that we have everything cut up and inside the blender, I, when I make my three juices, I usually do one with just water, one with apple cider vinegar, and another one with lemon. So for this first one, I'm gonna add um, a cup, a cup and a half, so not a cup and a half, but a top and a half. I'm gonna add a top and a half inside of the blender. So 
so the reason why you do this is because this is not a juicer and even though it will blend up the celery sticks we definitely want to add a little bit more moisture water um, to loosen it up as well as be able to squeeze out as much as we can when we do use the strainer or the mesh or the mesh method I also add lemon and apple cider vinegar for a different cup because it adds another level of detoxification, especially if that's what you're drinking it for. I also just do it with plain water because I wanna just taste the celery juice for itself. So for this first one, I already did two top filled of apple cider vinegar and it does not have to be perfect when you do it. And I'm gonna fill this up um, a half a cup. If you have the option to use filtered water, I definitely will say that. If you wanna take it to another level and use distilled water or spring water, um, just buy a gallon of water and do that as well if you don't mind and I've used tap water I think the first two weeks it was totally fine and I was like why not use a, the filtered water that I have in the fridge to just have filtered water <laughs> if I was doing it for a full-on detoxification session I would definitely buy a gallon of distilled water just to help so I'm just gonna fill this up a half a cup less let honestly less than a half a cup just a, we don't need a lot of water you want to loosen it up but you don't want to dilute it too much like that's enough and you'll know if you need to put more water in okay go I'm gonna go ahead and move these out the way so you can toss these out especially if you're making more than one and you want to keep space so we're gonna press power and then we're gonna start with the <laughs> Permit if you want to add more water I don't think you need to, just push it down. All right, so I feel we have enough blended. Put that here, and we're gonna get our measuring cup ready. Let me back this up. So this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, you're gonna go ahead and get this ready. Go ahead and get the measuring cup ready. Go ahead and take this out. You know, bump off enough. I'll put that on the board. And now you're gonna take now you're gonna take this, you're gonna put it on top of your cup. Now this is where it gets pretty tense. So you're gonna go ahead. Hold on. Can you guys see it from this angle? Don't wanna block the camera. So you can go ahead and pour it. And you can start to see it loosen up a little bit. You can see the normal juice with the water mixing in. I typically go ahead and pour it down there. Still a little bit left in here, but we're gonna put that to a side for now. And we're going to get our spoon instead. Leave that there. We're gonna get a spoon and we're gonna just kind of push it down. So far we are at one cup. Now I'm about to get nitty and gritty. I'm gonna scrape the rest out of here. Now I'm gonna go wash my hands because I've been touching my phone and touching some things. So I'm gonna wash my hands before I start squishing. Now this is where it gets pretty intense. You're gonna take your strong hand that you wanna do it with. So I'm gonna use my right hand. Let me do it from this angle. And you're gonna take it and you're just literally gonna squeeze it. You're gonna, let's see if I can see, you're gonna scrape it Scrape and squeeze is what I want to say. Scrape and squeeze. You'll start to feel it when it gets dry, so you'll know when you're done. Now, I'm going to take all of this glunk and I'm going to toss it in the garbage. So here is the finished juice product. We made, I wanna say a cup and a half. We made about a cup and a half, which is fine. If you wanted to get it to two cups, you could easily add a little bit more water than we did, which was a half a cup. Um, and then, yeah, so this is it. And you're gonna put it in a tight sealed glass. So I use an old 
Voss glass, not the plastic one. Definitely use glass because it holds it better, it holds it tighter, it keeps it fresh, keeps bacteria out. Um, so I use that one, and then I use an old pasta glass. These are very handy. Um, I could just order some beautiful cute glasses, but why not reuse something else just to drink out of? This is gonna pour it all the way in. If I wanted to, I could add more, but I'm not. I know I know this is two cups, so I will go ahead and leave this here. It smells so good. And then I will close it extremely tight, and there you are. You have your two cup, or you have your cup and a half um, glass of celery juice. I'll put it in the fridge immediately, and then um, continue making the rest of them. Okay, I can't say this for everyone, but I've definitely gotten used to the taste after a month of drinking it every morning for three to four days. And I actually look forward to it. I find it enjoyable. I find it revitalizing. And plus, within my mind, I definitely try to seek after a healthy, natural lifestyle because I want to take care of the body God has blessed me with, as well as live a long life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more videos like this. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Hold on. If you like this video, yes. <laughs> if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos. This is a lifestyle channel, so we're learning about fitness, we're learning about healthy habits, we're learning how to do things with what we have and not spend all of our money on things we actually kind of don't need. But when you have it, go ahead and spend it and it makes the process much easier. God bless you guys. I look forward to speaking with you next time. Thanks for watching. This is your girl, Alicia Lee Poitier. Have a great day. Bye.